Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Ram. Time for plane reviews yet again. A little bit later today, but eh. So I just had to cut out like four or five minutes because stuff. But uh, I don't, I don't remember what I was gonna say next. Except that today we're taking a look at some stuff with stock propellers. This is who made this again? Spacecraft X. It's a stock propeller-driven aircraft. The max speed in a straight line is apparently approximately 42 meters per second. It's a good number. It's a good number. The propeller pitch can be altered. Flatter angles are better at low speeds, and steeper angles are better at high speeds. Steeper and flatter. Flatter is better at low speeds, and steeper is better at high speeds. Okay. Press uh, space to separate the engine from the craft. Two for the parking brake. Oh, no, no. One. It's the action group. Okay. Wait, no, no. Oh, no, 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 these are in an instruction list. Sorry, I was kind of confused by it for a moment. Okay, so parking brake, then S it. You know what, I'll just go ahead and launch it, and then uh, and then I'm sure the instructions will make sense then. Oh, my poor cat. My cat has to be in my room for a little while because my mom's cleaning, and he's not normally in here, and he's kind of scared of it. All right, so I kind of hit the parking brake first. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Says uh, He says hit space to separate the engine. Then, oh look, it dropped a little thing there. Okay, and then hit the parking brake. Then enable SAS, switch to the detached engine. And that's not the detached engine. All right, now I should be on the detached engine. Uh, let's see, what is it? Wait, wait, wait. Um, hold Alt plus E until roll is fully to the right. Okay, Alt, E. Wait a second, is this engine electric just based on um, just based on on roll because if that's true oh my god that's amazing like it is this an electric engine oh my god it's an electric engine oh my god that is so cool it's a freaking electric engine it's silent as ever it's an electric and holy crap that is so cool. Okay, and then switch back. Engine should keep spinning. If not, check that SAS is not active. And yeah. All right, so the engine is still spinning. All right, uh, let's see. Check that it is trimmed and not just spinning with the button held down. Okay, release the parking brake. Fly like any other aircraft. Uh, switch the engine and fly to adjust engine speed. However, using the slider for deployment authority to alter pitch of the blades is usually more effective. Okay, so... Um, yeah, let's just go. I've released the parking brake. A lot of drag on those, but that's okay. I'm getting plenty of lift as well. Oh, looks like the back is already coming up. That's a good sign, and we're off the ground. Beautiful. An electric engine. This is... This is great. This is really great. Also, I think you left the uh, reaction wheels on in here. Uh, let's turn those off real quick and see if that was what was using our power. No, we're still using power, so there's something else, but whatever. I'll just... Oh, wait. Did I... I turned them off, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, well, I'm just going to turn them back on for now. Hey, we're going faster than you said. Of course, we're going up. He said that was like... Well... Huh. We're going faster than your uh, quoted max speed. <laughs> oh, this is great, though. Seriously, I'm so happy with this. Oops, nope. Um just the concept of having an electric engine. All right, what's our, uh, looks like it is slowly running out of electric charge though. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, alter altering the pitch is, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a good way to change the speed. So action group two, while controlling the engine, will toggle between high pitch and low pitch. And um, so I'm gonna hit two. And that should slow us down. Hold on. Let me see if I can right click one of these. Uh, oh, uh, is that low pitch? Yeah, that was, oh wait, no, this is, hold on. I don't know how to words. Which one of these is, this, this seems like low pitch to me. All right, well, we're going low pitch mode now. So it's, uh, it's tuned for slower speed flight. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, we're going faster than uh, than we would for this propeller speed. Hold on. Let me... Oops, that was that was time warp. I meant to switch crafts, but I hit the wrong button. All right, let's go ahead and hit 2 to go into high propeller speed. 
Oh dear, I forgot that I'm in this, uh, in this... <laughs> I forgot that you have to switch crafts to switch propeller modes. Also, because we have Kerbal Crash System, um, this structural fuselage is just getting torn up by the engine spinning in it. Oh, you know what? That may be why we're losing power on it, is actually just Kerbal Crash System being like, oh, you're taking damage. That'd be funny. All right, I'm going to try, uh, we're going to do a dive with it. And this may or may not break everything because of Kerbal Crash System. All right. It's actually slowing down as we go this low, as we go into this dive. Oh, very maneuverable. And uh, apparently we have flaps on one, but I'm not going to hit those because uh, I don't want to. I don't need to. All right, pull up. Yeah, let's fly low. I don't know what speed I'm, I don't know what altitude I'm at. Uh, pretty, pretty darn low. Yeah, let's, let's watch our... Uh, Vertical speed. There you go. We're dipping still a little. There you go. Just going up ever so slightly. See, this is why instruments are cool. See, I can I can keep an eye on things. Like I don't even have to look outside, except of course when I come up to the land and suddenly everything goes up a lot quicker. But yeah, other than the fact that it's completely silent because it's electric, it's um you know I, I kind of wish there was that propeller sound. You know, other than that, I'm really enjoying this. Let's do a barrel roll. This low to the water, not advised. That's why I stopped doing the barrel part of the barrel roll halfway through, because I realized uh probably wouldn't be good. All right, let's do it now. Got a bit more altitude. Mm, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, this thing is very, very good at maneuvering at these low speeds. Very nice. Enjoying it. All right. So, the next, the next plane that we will be using in this, in this series or whatever the next thing we will be doing is uh he made a turbo version of this and sent that in i don't know what the difference is between the turbo version and this one but uh we're gonna find out as soon as i either stall out or complete this roll hmm we're gonna we're gonna not be able to complete that in a standard roll so i kind of pitched us slightly or at least i didn't think we would be able to i don't know now that now that we're flying here again we might have been able to i'm gonna go up to about 200 meters and then start another roll. All right. 180. Of course, that's a radar, that's a sea level altitude. That's a ASL. That's not a. All right, 200. Beginning a, another loop. Did I say roll? I think I called it a roll and it's really a loop, but you know what I mean. Oh, and we got that nice, uh, we got the fact that the propeller is spinning, kind of dragging us off center. That's cool. Yeah, so it's just like a real prop. You have to counteract the force of it spinning. This is really sweet. I'm really enjoying this. Thank you very much for making this and sending it in. Oh, man. This is great. And this is a bad idea. Mmm. Yep, there went the nose of that plane. <laughs> Look at that. It's still trying to spin. All right, let's let's just let's just um, let's just turn you off before you have a complete spastic meltdown and break my computer. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that got smashed bad. Now this one, the Turbo Tempest, says uh, do not time warp, and uh, it says that it is faster and more improved and whatnot. And I'm guessing it turns out KSB physics there's a limit on your acceleration to drag or whatever, which is why there's less propeller blades on this. I think that's the primary difference between it and the other one. Um, I don't know if there's much else of a difference. Yes, my cat is exploring the room now, and he's going, What is this strange place that I'm never allowed in? Now he just brought me in here. Yes. Anyhow, uh, it's going to be similar instructions. Yes, yes it is. Okay, space. And then hit the parking brake. And I just realized why he has me hit space and then the parking brake. Because else I'd be setting the parking brake on the detached engine as well. All right, so what is it? Alt E to. Uh... Oh, I forgot to uh, set the SAS. Nope, that's not it. All right, SAS. Now switch to the propeller, and what am I doing? Switch to attach object. Hold Alt E until it's all the way. Yep. So it's gonna be this. It's gonna be kind of similar design, similar concept. We're moving slightly on this one. Wow, this one's actually managing to make us move while the brakes are fully held. So that tells you how much more power it has. Okay. So, let's see, switch back, 
it should keep spinning, blah, 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 release parking brake and continue over. <laughs> over time, there seems to be a degradation in aerodynamic performance of the blades on the prop. I think it's a result of using the variable pitch too much. <laughs> okay, interesting. Also, you know what this just made me realize? This is how you can have stock flying craft on EVE. This is how you would do it. This right here. And my cat is exploring. I'm sorry, that is is distracting me. All right, well, in any case, it's going to pitch a little coming off the... Uh, see, it's trying to yaw, so I have to counteract that a little bit. <laughs> All right, so this one... This one's a bit slower to get off the ground, though. Actually, we're, we're not doing too well speed-wise. I might have to... Uh, hold on, let's put the landing gear back out because I think we're going to end up going back down in a moment here. Yeah. All right, let's just... Oh, dear. Mm, mm, that's not good. Cutting engines. Oh, yeah, I can't cut engines because I'd have to switch to it to cut engines. Hmm. It's trying to eat the plane, looks like. Wow. Oh, my God. So when this thing has an engine explosion, it looks really freaking cool because it's like all these mangled parts and shit. Oh, my God, that's great. And you can probably hear that in the background. I'm going to have to deal with the cat. <laughs> oh, my God, that was great, though. This is what I get for walking away from the computer while the game was loading. Also, you probably heard my cat complaining in the background. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh no, I can't. Oh yeah, I'm not on the craft. Okay, turn. Let's get you back on the runway. Well, um... Oh dear. He's, he's really upset. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do differently this time... Okay, oop. Oh. Uh... Toggle the parking brake. All right, I am going to. Yeah, let's cut the engine. Okay, what was I gonna do? I was gonna set the uh, the pitch to that first. All right, and then um, Alt E. All the Alt E's. And then I will cut the throttle, even though that doesn't make any difference because it's not actually being used. All right, and then I will switch back to the plane, and we will enable SAS, and we'll turn the brakes off, and we'll get going. Oh, that's so cool. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, though, using this mode to take off. Is, is this the right mode to take off in? I don't know. Well, we've gotten to the air, and we're going faster than we were, so I'm going to say yes. Is this the high speed mode? I'm I'm really not sure. I think this is the high speed mode. We're able to sustain a higher climb rate. We're going a bit faster. Well, we're not going faster yet, but we're doing all right. We're doing all right. All right, let's do a little spin around. Mm, we're a bit low to the ground, but mm, we're not going to make this. Well then. <laughs> The cockpit came off the front. Oh, that's great. And then KSP Physics are going to give us a nice little show with the pieces that are left just flipping madly. Oh, no, it's not that the... Oh, the front of the plane came off of the cockpit. Okay. All right, we're going to give this one more go. Then I'm going to switch to... Um, what is it? Oh, wait, I need to switch back to here. Put the brakes on, turn SAS on. Go back to this, um, hit 2, Alt-E all the way. Um, yeah, so I don't even know how long I've been recording because I've had several interruptions. This is unusual for me, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fly it one last time, and then I'm going to take a look at uh, two other things real quick, and then I will be stopping for the day. Hopefully that's not too much, not too little, and uh, we'll see. We'll see about that, though. Um, alt -E. Yeah, just a bit. Oh. Let's turn off SAS. Okay, and we'll get her in the air, and then... I'm trying to... Uh, I'm actually... I never use trim, but I'm actually trying to use trim right now for the yaw to compensate for the engine. It looks like I've over-trimmed. We're, pr we're pretty close to stable. I'm slightly over-trimmed. And still slightly over trimmed. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it at this point. Do a little roll. Sort of a barrel roll. 
a lot more aileron than uh, pitch in that role, but still. Oh yes, and it can sustain speed in a turn. Yes, it can. Awesome. All right, let's dive real low, low to the ground. Beautiful. Meow. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> poor kitty. He doesn't normally go in my room, so he's not used to it. So he freaks out a little bit. It's it's because my mom's cleaning a lot, and she doesn't want him getting in the way. And uh, he's kind of freaking out because he's like, I don't know what's going on. Oh dear. I just, I can't believe I just, that was, that was, that was the most epic landing ever, and, um, cat, he's, he's, I'm gonna see what I can do about him, but, uh, yeah, huh. I don't think we have the, uh, the, actually, we can probably take off with this still, alright, just get up a little bit of speed, pull off the ground, there you go, yeah. <laughs> so it can survive a crash too oh dear mm, is it gonna survive that one though oh wait that's not a crash okay we're good we're good i thought i was gonna crash it all right but enough with this as much as i ooh, as much as i love it enough with this oh dear i did not mean to pitch that far down well we're not taking off again from that well that piece is mm, almost taking off again oh my god oh that's so fool that's fool so cool This is really cool. I really like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make a helicopter based on like the the this electric engine thing. I'm gonna try it. That'd be so cool. Next up is the multipurpose airliner, which is generically named and was sent in by someone who asked to what the fuck remain anonymous. Okay, I see why. Jesus, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, first of all, clipping. Oh, oh, that's gonna look bad in flight. Cause when these activate, they're just gonna, they're just gonna. Actually, no, that doesn't look bad at all. Never mind. I take it back. Other than the fact that it looks bad because of the uh, flags on them and being clipped weird. Other than that, it, it doesn't look too bad. And in motion, it actually doesn't look bad. So uh, I don't know about this part where it's overlapping. How that'll look? That'll probably look bad. But Jesus Christ, overall. Lots of clipping in kind of the ugly way, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. Oh, that, that loaded weirdly, didn't it? I wasn't looking at the moment. All right, traditional engines again. All right, do we have any cargo in here? Oh, we got a, we got some radiators and batteries and RTGs. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why the radiators, like, is that a style choice or does this component back here heat up? because it's proximity to the engines. I don't know. All right, well, in any case, we're off the ground. Got a pretty good speed so far. This thing looks ridiculous, but I also kind of like it. It's too ridiculous to not like. Oh, is that clipping? Oh, no, it's not quite. Like, it's, it's touching in there. Oh, it's clipping on the bottom, though, unfortunately. Yeah, that's an oversight I make too sometimes, is uh, having something clip on the bottom but not clip on the top, so I think it's not clipping. Also, you probably strutted, should have strutted your wings. Because look at that wobble, and the cat's going off again. <laughs> I need to replace my cat with a new one. No, a new model. I'm making jokes, but seriously, don't. I'm not an animal cruelist. Animal cruelist? That, you know, I just felt like saying something funny right there, okay? I thought it was funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna make it out of this, unless I perhaps. Yeah, we're not gonna make it out of this. Mm. Did we survive that? We survived that. I don't think we should have survived that, but we apparently survived that. Also, this thing is incredibly buoyant. Look how, how high up in the water we are. This should not be that buoyant, should it? I don't think it should be. But yeah, there's not that much more to say about it. It's a giant thing. It's not the best maneuverability. It's uh, designed to carry... Oh, is this a cargo bay or is that fuel? It's designed to carry, carry, carry a small amount of people, kerbals. And, I mean, I guess you could fit some stuff in the back here, but it's really just not much. And last for today, we have the Mark 26 by Epic Man 352.
And uh, it's Z fighting. Is Z fighting? Z fighting is intense. Okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. You got little drop tanks. Oh, that's cool. That looks good. That looks good and accurate and beautiful. And look at that. The way that like slots in there. Oh my god. That is that is great. All right. So Mark Twenty Six. And literally nothing else is said about it, so let's give it a fly. See, this one will have prop engine noises. Very quiet prop engine noises. Wow. Really, really quiet prop engine noises. Oh, this looks cool. This looks very cool. Alright. Pitch and roll. Yep, maneuvers quite well. Alright, let's do something stupid. Fly through the wreck of the VA fuck. Oh dear. Okay, okay. This is recoverable. Mm, no, it's not. Mm. We survived the landing, though. Oh, it has guns. I wonder if I can fire those guns. How can I fire those guns? I can't seem to figure out how to fire those guns, if we even have ammo. What's this? Is this ammo? That's ammo. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Beautiful. Alright. This time around, we're gonna start with the... Oops. With the... Triggers armed. Let's watch the propeller spin up. Enjoy the beautiful view. It is an abrupt transition to the full, fully going mode, unfortunately, but, uh, still pretty cool. Alright. What we're gonna do this time is try not to die. And that did not do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Alright, let's, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna come around this way and kind of, uh, get up a little bit of altitude, a little bit of speed. Oh, that is cool. All right, gonna come around. Hmm, we're losing a lot of speed and altitude in this turn. Unfortunately, that seems to be a problem with this design. Is that turning will lose you a lot of mm, a lot of altitude and speed, and um, <laughs> drop the drop tanks at the very end. I kind of forgot I had those on there. All right, here we go. This will be. The last design for today, the last design, the last plane that we are reviewing. I think I already said that. If I did not, well, I'm saying it again. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in space. Are these even being uh, pulled from first? Yeah, it looks like it. Unless it's being pulled equally. This is 199 out of 400. It should. S that's a very weird number. I think it's being pulled from. Yeah, it's being pulled from. They're being pulled from equally. That shouldn't be happening. Hmm. Oh well, fuck it. Ooh. Alright. Ah! My phone got a notification. I don't know if you heard that. Sorry if it did. Ah! Why am I flying this so badly? I don't even know. But in any case, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in space.